Sneaking out of the shadows and into the rankings at number nine is Thief to the Metal Age. And in eighth place, it's the baby with the bazooka in Messiah. There's a welcome return for the strategic thriller Delta Force 2 as it re-enters the chart at number seven. Whilst making up a few places, Age of Empires 2 progresses to sixth place. The season has definitely started for F1 2000 as it enters the top ten at number five. And the second highest new entry this week goes to Soldier of Fortune at four. The updated championship manager is pushing for promotion in third place. Not quite top, but the highest new entry this week goes to Star Wars Force Commander at number two. But back in the limelight, those stars from The Sims are this week's number one. If you own a PC and you're a fan of speed, then you're in luck. Here are two of the latest racing games to come to your hard drive. Firstly, check out Roll Cage Stage 2. Set in the future, this is a mixture of high-speed thrills and crazy stunts. The game is extremely fast and you'll struggle to control your car. And steering becomes even harder when you're hit by a distracting warp missile. Once you've sampled the thrill of the game's speed, then there's not much else to keep you amused. But there is the chance to try out the scramble section. It's a set of obstacle tracks that you have to complete in the fastest time possible. However, because of the awkward controls, one mistake will see you plummeting over the edge of the track. Overall, Roll Cage Stage 2 is a great game, but its lack of depth means that PC owners won't be staying with it for long. Our second racer will have you completing hundreds of laps around a circular track. Still interested? Then take a look at NASCAR 2000. We're not great fans of NASCAR racing. It's hardly the most exciting of motorsports, and there have been some truly terrible games based on the American series. But to be fair, so far, this game is the best of the bunch and is a reasonable representation of the action. At the start, all the cars are essentially the same, thanks to the strict technical rules. So customizing your vehicle for each track is very important and will determine your success. And whilst crashing your car may be exciting, you'll soon find yourself getting bored with the incredibly dull oval tracks. NASCAR 2000 looks and handles better than any NASCAR title yet. There are better racing games out there that'll test your skills, but fans of this sport will welcome this game's arrival. Hello, you're here at last. Hello, Aunt Fanny. Julian, Dick and George and Timmy the dog are back for lashings of ginger beer. Yes, the famous five have found their way onto our computer screens with Treasure Island. Here, the gang have to search for treasure in a shipwreck near the mysterious Kirin Island. However, it's no simple task as a devious professor has plans to steal the treasure for himself. Were you listening, you little toad? Treasure Island is an enjoyable package with a genuine sense of mystery and some stunning locations. Some of the puzzles are extremely difficult to solve, but the secret codes in the game manual will point you in the right direction. If the game does have a fault, it's the fact that the characters are slightly two-dimensional and that it takes ages to get anywhere. But you can look at some stunning scenery whilst you walk. How did you find me? 
was a friendly welcome. But Aunt Fanny just said that you're miffed. The famous five books have been entertaining children for years, and looking at this up-to-date version, it should carry on amusing fans for several more. If you have the patience to look beyond the obvious, the Famous Five will provide you with hours of entertainment. And of course, every adventure has a happy ending. Would anyone like more tea? My, you're so polite all of a sudden, Georgina. Yes, I'll have another cup. If there's one thing that there's no shortage of at game shows, it's video game characters. These dedicated dancers, actresses and models bring to life our favourite game heroes and literally come in all shapes and sizes. From convincing look-alikes and familiar film faces to hungry movie monkeys on a well-earned break, one thing's certain, these attention-grabbing characters are a lot of fun to watch. But why do the actors and actresses themselves go through the pain of playing out these roles just to make us laugh? And who makes them? Cybernet tracked down some of the guilty people and asked them, what do you get out of this? I think it generates a lot of excitement for the game. It definitely draws a crowd, especially when she's larger than life. You know, she's six and a half foot tall and very imposing looking with red eyes. Everyone wants to get their picture taken with someone like that. I think game characters are a good thing because they let people um, get into the game more. You look at any Nintendo game, and all of them that do well have strong characters. Uh, if you look at some of the games in the market that didn't do well, that might have been good games, it was because they didn't have a character for people to latch on to. But what about the models? Nikki plays a character from Perfect Dark. What does she think? Um, it's great. I, I, I love doing character work because you get to be a different person every day of the week, or at least for three or four days. It makes you let you step out of your own side. I get the enjoyment of being here, having fun every day, coming, meeting new people, and just seeing how much fun it is for everyone here at E3. Another famous face was Xena. She was having so much fun, we could barely get her to take a break to tell us what's so great about being the warrior princess. Working at Universal Studios, it's uh, very fulfilling. Um, a lot of children I make very happy, and uh, they love it. First off, they've been asking for my uh, autograph. <laughs> and then doing some sword demonstrations and doing the Xena yell, her famous yell. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> but the most famous character of them all is Lara Croft. With her own games, toys, TV ads and film, she's even a model. So we asked her boss, what's Lara's big appeal? <laughs> Come on now, tell us about Lara. She's safe. She's sexy, she's um, someone that people can relate to. She's, she's not got ridiculous big muscles. She doesn't fire guns that are built up and can take an aeroplane down. And she, I mean, she knows, she's a, she's a sort of a 20th century adventurer. But what does owning a character like Lara Croft mean to a games company like Core? We've sold 16 million copies of the game. So you take that as an audience, I mean, that is just a huge audience. That then enables you to go and do a movie deal. In Lara, one can argue, um, and I probably would, obviously, that she's, at the moment, the number one icon of the, of, of the games industry. So there you have it. Video games characters, everyone loves them. But before you fall for them yourself, remember two things. Firstly... You'd better watch Cybernet. And secondly, if you're ever lucky enough to meet any of them yourself, remember, they're not real. Ow. <laughs> OK, time for our competition now, so grab a pen. In this week's fabulous Cybernet competition, we're giving away a PlayStation and the amazing Rally Masters game to play on it. We're also throwing in a signed T-shirt and baseball cap from a rally champion, so you can look the part as an ultimate speed demon. To win this prize, call our number and I'll... Welcome back to part two of Cybernet. Get ready. Five. Move over, Tekken. There's a new combat game ready to steal your crown, and its name is Dead or Alive 2. 
This ferociously fast action game has everything a combat fan could ask for. From the incredible looking snowy arenas to beautifully drawn theatres, it'll knock you out with its gorgeous graphics and totally slick animation. But it's the moves that will completely suck you in. Each character has devastating attacks that'll keep you playing until you've discovered every last one. You can battle one-on-one -on -one or select the challenging tag team mode. Here you can choose a group of fighters to play with and throw them into the battle when their partner has had enough. Or if one of your guys gets defeated, they'll make their own spectacular entrance. Or is that exit? Each round is nicely set up with an introductory FMV piece that moves you seamlessly into combat. Get ready! Then you're on your own to try and pull off as many devastating moves as you can to leave your competitor flat on their back. There's so much to master and so much to keep you amused that you should be playing Dead or Alive 2 for months. And just when you think you've seen it all, something new pops up. Truly awesome. Our hero. <laughs>